The art world is a place where um, women are free to express themselves more confidently and boldly and having exhibitions and spaces where um, more, more challenging work can be shown is a key part of that, to encourage the conversation and the dialogue. You know, art is always a starting point. Um, what the viewer sees is as important what the artist makes. Um, the art, Cecile Parade um, from Montevideo in Uruguay, you know, she does look at gender and identity. Um, you know, a piece is called you know, More Than Meets the Eye is looking at the way people look at her and you know as a woman but as an artist as well and she crosses um, interpretations of what gender and opinion people have she's a street artist and she's a fine artist um, she works in the community and she works in you know high-end galleries as well um, I think art and the creative industries potentially are a free space when people can work independently. I think the challenges of the film industry is it's hard to work independently. It's still dominated somewhat by you know, influential um, men and, and money and capital. What a fine art can bring to us is a static image that gives us space to digest and think about these things. Um, I think a lot of people are surprised that it's only a hundred years and when we're talking about the start of universal suffrage, there's still immense, immense restrictions that have been widely reported at that early stage. And it is, isn't a global phenomenon. Not all women have equal rights. You know, we're seeing things in Saudi Arabia at the moment where people are pushing, you know, women are getting pushing for the right to drive their, their cars um, and do things differently. I think all change comes from struggle. Um, and we shouldn't forget that. And we should keep encouraging the struggle and the fight you know, not, not with violence, but with opinion, with expressing yourself. And art is a wonderful place for that to happen, but it has to be free to do so.